let's start with today's question so today's question is based on one idea that is of a factorial before starting with the question and understanding the solution for that let's see the idea and understand the concept first suppose i have been given that i want to form let's say unique words which uses all the letters of this word great right so first of all the concept which we'll be using here is n different things can be arranged in a straight line in n factorial words so if n different things can be arranged in a straight line in n factorial ways i can arrange these five letters of the word in a straight line in five factorial ways and five factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right so that becomes 120 words can be formed with this letters of the word great Next example, if instead of the word great, if I have, let's say, treat. So, T-R-E-A-T. -E now, this, I can form how many unique words with this five letters is. First of all, I can arrange this five letters also in a straight line in five factorial ways. After that, if you see, five factorial means you are forming 120 words. Suppose if I keep R, E and A in the same position, and if I just change the T and T's position in this. So this T comes here and this T comes here in the front. So now if you see, you are still forming it as the same word, right? So every such word in this will be repeated two times. So in this sequence of 120 words which you are getting, every word is getting repeated two times. So it is not consisting of all unique words. So we need to divide it by two factorial. So it becomes 120 by 2 that is 60. So number of unique words I can form with this five letters of treat is 60. Right. So the idea here which we are using is if you have let's say n letters to be arranged we can arrange them in a straight line in n factorial but if you have let's say m letters repeating it for n m times I will divide it by m factorial if you have any other letter, let's say repeating t times, I will divide it by again t factorial. And this goes on and on. And that gives you number of unique words that you can form with the letters. Right. So that is the idea which we'll be using in the question now. Let's see the question now and understand the solution first. So the question says, I have to form 10 lettered words. And when I have to form 10 lettered words, I have to form those 10 lettered words using this letters A to J. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So I have 10 options of letters. Now it says X consists of number of words which are formed using all the letters and without repetition. So here repetition is not allowed while forming number of words for this case x why it says it is also a case where number of words are formed where two letters are repeated so again i have to form a 10 lettered word but two letters are repeated in this case and all other eight letters are not repeated right so i have to then find the sum of x and y this is again a very easy question, but you should understand what we need to apply here. So here, if I have this 10 letters with me, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Now in that, if X case, if I use, I have all the 10 letters to be chosen. So out of 10, I will select all of the 10. And when we use the word select, means we are doing selection and hence I'm using combination here. So 10C10, I am selecting all the 10 letters, but after that, I need to make an arrangement, right? So after selecting these 10 letters from A to J, I will need to arrange these 10 letters. And we already know now that these 10 letters, I can arrange them in a straight line in 10 factorial ways. So 10C10 is 1 and 10 factorial. So these are the total number of words I can form in this case X. Why? It tells me two letters can be repeated and other eight letters should not be repeated. Right? 
so we had 10 letters a b c d e f g h i j now this part of the question becomes very important so first of all i will have to select one letter out of 10 which can repeat two times right so out of 10 i am selecting one such letter which can be repeated two times now let's say for example if i have selected a which can repeat two times so after that how many letters are remaining is nine right so out of this remaining nine letters one letter is already repeated two times and i need to form a word of 10 letters if two are repeated now we only want eight options to be selected so out of total options available that are nine we are going to select only eight of them right so i can select all of this where two letters are repeated and all other eight letters are not repeated so out of 10 i selected one where two letters are repeated and from the remaining nine i'm selecting eight letters now once i have this 10 letters with me i can again arrange this 10 letters in 10 factorial ways but Mind you, now one letter is getting repeated two times and we already discussed when one letter repeats n number of times or m number of times we divide it, divide it by its factorial. So it is repeating two times and I'll divide it by two times. So that gives me 10c1 which is 10, 9c8 which is 9 factorial upon 8 factorial into 1. And this is 10 factorial upon 2. 2 factorial is 2. So now if I solve this further, it gives me 10 into 9 into 8 factorial upon 8 factorial. So this gets cancelled. 1 factorial is 1 and 10 factorial. So further, I get it as and 2 was that. So 2 1s, 2 5s. So it gives me 45 into 10 factorial. Further, it was asking me if I do x plus y, what happens? So x plus y becomes 1 into 10 factorial plus 45 into 10. And further, if I solve and take 10 factorial as common, what I get is 1 plus 45, that is 46. So the correct answer in this question, if you see according to the options which are given to us, the correct answer in this question is C. So the correct answer to this question is C, which is 46 into 10 factorial. So the idea which we used in this question was n different things can be arranged in a straight line in n factorial ways. And the idea which we used was if you have the letters of the word great, I can arrange these five letters where none of them is repeating in five factorial ways. And if I had the letters of the word treat, I can arrange this letters of the word in five factorial ways, but I will have to divide it by the number of times the letter is repeated. So here T is repeating two times. So I'll divide it by two's factorial. So that gives me 60 words can be formed with this letters of the word three and 120 letters can be formed with this letters of the word three. Right? So this was the idea which we used in the question. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions where we have to arrange the letters and form the words. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question and next concept. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you found this really helpful. You can also watch my previous videos which will help you to understand the other concepts also. Thank you.